Yo, look. I'm like, where's your I'm putting it in. I am putting it in. I just wanted to show before I finished. It's hard work. No, <laughs> for real. And it's almost, yeah, it's gonna rain later today a lot, so I'm glad. Finally got it out the pot. I'm gonna put it, I gotta just finish covering it now. And hopefully, I can start my garden area over here eventually, right here. All I need to do is, but that ground is hard. Even covering it, I never amended it though, so, you know, that's me. But I, you know, I'm barely starting. <laughs> barely starting, so. Yeah. But I can't wait to get it in. Oh my god, that's so hard, scary. Like, I kept bumping the tree branches on the fence or the roof when I was moving it from the house. So, finally, it's upright. Because I had it on the ground trying to get it out the pot. Without hurting anything. Myself or the tree. <laughs> and I found a little baby bunny. Oh my gosh. But it ran off. It ran off in the fence over here. Uh-huh. Alright. But it was a little bit... Yeah, so there we go. I'm finished this. Enjoy the weather. It's so cool. And like about to rain. Oh my gosh, I was not even going to plan on doing this, but then once I got it all, like, I was like, okay, let me just do it. Okay. I was just going to cover the dirt so it could get a little bit softer before I put the tree in. I'm too nervous to put the tree in, but we'll see. But then I'm like, no, I'm just doing it now because then I'm going to, it's going to rain and I'm not going to come back to this for another week or two. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> so, let me get it in. And then I believe I have... A crab apple tree coming but that one's more like a one-year tree this is more like a five-year tree so that can go in a little pot but this I'm like okay let me get it let me go get in there okay let me finish this video and finish and then I'll try to show hopefully what it comes out like oh my gosh there we go my first fruit tree I've probably ever really planted <clears throat> Move this soccer ball. Okay. So I put this cardboard right here so it can, you know, soak up all the water and the rain. Make the dirt a little bit protected and soft, hopefully, so I can start digging all around. Because uh, that was not my plan. My plan was to get the ground ready before putting anything in. But I'm behind, so... Dogs whining, I don't know why. Okay, so I don't know, we'll see how it looks. <laughs> Cricket. But, um, look. Eh. That's the way the tree is growing. Hmm. But, anyways, so I got this little sprout coming up too. Hopefully, that will grow too. Got two. Hopefully, we can go one that way and then one this way. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. It's so pretty though, look at this little flower. Let's see if I can make it, hopefully it survives, I don't know, man. I gotta let, look into everything more, but. Hit it on something on the roof. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I hope, I hope, I hope, I might need 
need to get like another little stake and put it right here or something. It's like just leaning all that way, okay. But it's actually strong. The stick is just like, it's like literally a decoration. It's not even doing anything. The tree is pretty good. Let's see. Watch us get a hail spawn this weekend. I'm... <laughs> Uh, and then I had this piece of cardboard. Look how it perfectly fit. It had a tear on it and everything <laughs> right around there. Because I was like, I'm not going to dig through all that right now. Because that, that is a whole habitat that I do not want to go digging through right now. <laughs> Heck no. Who knows what's in there? I ain't going through it. <laughs> it can live in there until later. <laughs> yeah, so. But at least I'm covering this part near. So then it can... And then, of course, I wanted to make beds right here and right here. Like, and then I could walk through each one. But I am saving these for something. So. And, uh, yeah. Found me some more rocks in the ground. And hopefully it just survives. Please survive. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. It's a little bit high right now, but everything I have planted that I put evenly at ground level has gone, it goes down a lot. Like this, it's already sinking. Like, you can tell because whenever you aerate the soil, it makes a lot of air and then it sinks. So I need to be mindful of that. And I, I thought I left this one a little bit lifted, but it's just sinking, which eventually I'm going to dig everything up, like, like move all this, I mean, aerate it all, so it's all going to kind of lower a little bit. But, so, so, so right now I just did this area, and it, it did sink, it did sink a little bit. But I haven't aerated everything else, so eventually I will, and that means like shovel, like put the shovel in and kind of like just make it all nice and fluffy, and then it'll lower eventually, and then you put mulch over everything, hopefully, eventually. But yeah, the weeds grow faster than the plants here in Texas, so that could possibly be poisonous, I'm not sure what that is. And then, yeah, that was not there. That's, yeah. Yep, that's how it is over here. So, this is higher, which I'm hoping. I mean, I don't care. I don't know. I don't know. It might, it's gonna set eventually when I go through and shovel a lot of this area. So, it'll go down a little bit. Which help, which will, because cause this area is super dry. I don't have any shade, and this area gets so dry in the summer. So, and eventually, of course, I would like to hook up a timer to the faucet and put a drip line or whatever they do, but it has to be timed because I ain't having no drip line going for 24 hour. Heck no. It's going to be. That's how I'm going to water, I guess, in the summer. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm not sure. Like, an hour of drip, and then that's it. Sometime during the day. I don't know. Or, like, not in the day, because you can't water, you know, in the evening or the morning. So, that'll help from me spraying water everywhere and it evaporating everywhere. And hopefully... Hopefully we can keep the ground a little moist enough. But I want a whole thing of plants and habitats that help. Because, like, the wildlife grow, the wild stuff grows like crazy. Hmm. Like, wow, it grows. I don't do nothing to this. You know, like, so I need to have the stuff that I want growing naturally. Like, the way the wild stuff grows. I don't water this. I don't do nothing over here. So somehow I gotta get it to where it'll like just self be itself and stuff. Oh, there's a big bug flying. Okay. Hopefully we can get it. 
like that. That's how I want it. Yeah, I don't water that tree. <laughs> so hopefully we can get things that grow that I want growing that I would want. I do, I have, I just water what I want, like my, like this, because this is, there's nothing here, it's just dry, and this is the sunniest part of the yard, so this is full sun, and this is full Texas sun, which is totally different, I feel, than anywhere else, because, well, besides Arizona, maybe, <laughs> Arizona, or somewhere, I don't know, I don't know, but this is like, baking area so I'm not sure the wild stuff grows though I don't know so you gotta get it to where it can you know I just but plus I'm a new gardener so I don't know <gasps> look at the rabbit look at the rabbit it's a bunny my dog has not come yet Get him out. 